New information about a Jacksonville mom and local music teacher murdered at her home last week, two decades after she survived another brutal attack at the same home. This was Deborah Lyles in court in 1993. I love life, but I've had an event happen to me that should only have happened in the movies. The discovery we found in our News 4 Jacks archives that may stun you as it did us when we found it. It is a plot line that frankly is unbelievable and tragically a reality for five grown children and their father. Deborah Lyles, a beloved music teacher, mother, grandmother, murdered at her own Panama Park home. This is the crazy part. It's at the same home where she was brutally attacked while pregnant 23 years ago. Now, police are still hunting for her killer. At 5, Channel 4's Elizabeth Campbell spoke with Lyle's husband, who's the one who found his wife dead last Thursday. We've had 41 fantastic years together, and uh, I can't imagine what went through the mind of the person who felt, felt it necessary to end her life, uh, but I, he needs to know that the life he ended was not was not uh, a valueless life. Uh, there was a lot of, of people affected by this. Now, I-Team investigator Lindsay Gardner is joining us. She uncovered video of Deborah Lyle speaking in a courtroom about the gift of life after she survived that first horrible ordeal. Lindsay, it is hard to grasp that one woman could be a victim of criminal violence twice. Truly, Tom, and when we heard her in her own words today, many of us were left speechless. She was powerful as she was sitting in that courtroom confronting her attacker in 1993. It was testimony that really left us in awe of her strength then and now. Today, her words are ringing all the more heartbreaking with a second attack that Debbie Lyles did not survive. Once he put his hand around the back of my neck, excuse me, that I faced death. I laid there on the couch and I thought, I love being the mother of four children. I don't want it to end. Debbie Lyles took to the witness stand in 1993 to stare down the man who brutally beat her in her Jacksonville home while she was pregnant. The same house where she was later murdered, making her testimony then all the more unsettling today. I have hospital bills. I have scar tissue on the inside of my mouth that may be there. That's minimal. The impact is it has changed my perspective of life. I love life, but I've had an event happen to me that should only have happened in the movies. Her attacker, Curtis Head, was a career felon with 33 arrests before he went to Lyle's home looking for yard work. When she turned him down, he broke at her back door, tied her up, beat her, and robbed her. Head had been out of prison just 47 days when he committed that home invasion. He's now spending life in prison. News for Jax followed Lyle's story of survival as she and her husband fought to then strengthen the laws. Our cameras were there as the family celebrated their first Thanksgiving after the attack. Lyle's was four to five months pregnant at the time. With a lot of things in life, you have to come either near, near losing or losing it to appreciate it. And life was one thing that, that I almost lost. Fast forward to March 23rd, 2017. Lyles did lose her life in the very same kitchen. Police say the murder weapon left nearby. The question now is, killed by who? Two days after the murder on Saturday, police found Lyles' abandoned car on Nodder Avenue off of Gulf Air Boulevard. They are hoping that DNA or clues inside can help them to catch the person who killed 62-year-old Debbie Lyles.